Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Paul Jarossi, fencing master with the USFCA and the International Academy of Arms. At the 2022 Ascalon Sword Festival, we're about to see the gold medal match for the Junior Men's Saber Competition. On the left, we have Samuel Reitler from Columbus Fencing and Fitness, fighting out of Columbus, Ohio. And on the right, we have Mr. Aaron Bergenthal from Upper Arlington High School Fencing Club, also fencing out of Columbus, Ohio. And in the booth with me, I have 16-time world team member, five-time national champion, and two-time world champion, Dr. Joseph Streb. Dr. Streb, great to see you. Maestro Jirasi, a pleasure to be here. This should be an exciting event. Junior men's saver, Bergenthal on the right, Reitler on the left. These fencers know one another. They're both from Columbus. They go to different fencing clubs, but they've fenced each other many times in the past. Have similar styles but uh, Bergenthal right-handed, Reitler left-handed, so we'll see how this works out. Bergenthal with a long attack that Reitler makes short. Reitler coming forward with the composed attack and finishes. Bergenthal with the direct attack, and it lands, 1-1. One, one. Both, both these fencers like those direct attacks, and they're both good at it. Our fencing official sees that as Bergenthal's attack. There's another direct attack by Bergenthal. One of his favorite things to do. He's very good at it. Very strong with his finish. That time he got parried. Right, picks on the up march. the blade. Beats the blade. Gets parried. That was a miss initially by Bergenthal. Let's see what our fencing official does with that. Bergenthal missed and then just continued forward. Sometimes in Sabre that's being allowed as a a continuation these days as a, a and we also have a crossing over apparently by Mr. Bergenthal that will annul the touch okay of course in modern saber you can no longer cross your feet and so that is a yellow card this attack to expect parry repost no And a big attack by Reitler misses. Bergenthal punishes him for it. Bergenthal with the direct attack. I don't. I don't know why he. Uh, I, I, I didn't see that that way. I saw that as, as Bergenthal's attack. I thought maybe he hit the bell, and our fencing official was calling a uh, a repost. Similar action, this time called right. Missed by Bergenthal. Reitler on the march. Swings and misses. Bergenthal is short. Bergenthal tries to go essentially under the arm there. Ends up short with it and got hit. Two touch lead in Sabre. That's nothing. No lead is safe in Sabre. That's what we've been saying all weekend. And it seems to be true. Bergenthal was definitely ahead there, but it looked like he might have run into the bell of Reitler. I don't know how the, our fencing officials are looking at the video on that, trying to get a sense of what happened. My bet is that the uh, they'll call it touch right. And they do. Back to a three-touch lead for Bergenthal. Reitler, Reitler makes the beat, but then doesn't get a light. Bergenthal reaches eight when they get to eight to take a break. Yep. And now they're receiving some coaching, although it looks like uh, Mr. Bergenthal is uh, getting some coaching from his father. I'm not sure uh, who's coaching Mr. Reitler, but I believe that's a CFNF coach. So as we well, were discussing earlier today, you know, these junior Fencers, which can, you know they can be 18, 19 years old, are as fast probably as they'll ever be in life. Yeah, they're they're at the the pinnacle of their physical conditioning. Uh, they're strong. They're fast. They don't have the 
the experience and maybe the technique as some of the slightly older fencers, uh, but they have the athleticism, and we're seeing that modern saber and modern fencing in general is really rewarding uh, athleticism. Well, that's for sure. Saber is largely about movement as well as uh, hand speed, and, and these, these young fencers can certainly move. There's no question of that. What's uh, Reitler have to do to get back into this match? Reitler has to make uh, Mr. Bergenthal short. He has to anticipate that, that uh, direct point attack. He's going to have to get back a little farther than he's used to because uh, Mr. Bergenthal really follows through with it. It's very hard. And so he's got to get back a little farther than, he, than he's used to and then, and then hit him on the, on the counteraction. And there's a riposte, and Reitler is one point closer. That was a good job by Reitler of getting back the right distance to make it short. Now he has to finish. And, and he, he does. does. I thought he was going to be short on that, but he ends yeah. up picking up the hand. Mr. Bergenthal dropped his hand. He was patient and picked his time. He was more patient, yes. And there's a, a pair of posts. Power repost by Reitler. It was interesting. Mr. Reitler stepped forward there, closed that whole lower line. It's a power you don't see that often. It's dangerous because you can get a remise on it, but it worked. And there's a halt called for going off the strip, I believe. Parried. Reitler on the march. Bergen Bell using a point in line technique. Reitler picked it up and finished the hit off target, so no light came on at all. Bergenthal attacks, it's parried, and there's the repost from Reitler. And Reitler is right back in this, eight to nine. He's back in it, and he's he's done it by creating a little more distance on his defense and making uh, Mr. Bergenthal short. And I suppose that proverb of uh, no lead is safe in Sabre is uh, proving to be true. Attack by Reitler actually misses. And Mr. Reitler actually tried to pick up the blade there, but he was stepping forward to do it, and he missed it completely. Oh, mm. preparation by Bergenthal is met by a counterattack from Reitler. Yeah, Mr. Bergenthal kind of lost his discipline on that touch. And that, that long, direct, strong attack, but Reitler creating the distance he needed makes the pair repose. That's all e tied up, 10-10. Equalizer. Let's see if Bergenthal will, will go backward on this one. Yes, he does, and it works. Didn't so much go back as just kind of hesitate off the line. Bergenthal has a very good parry for him, and uh, he made it work that time. And now he mixes it up and takes to offense, scores the attack, 12-10 Bergenthal. Bergenthal with the composed attack, finishes. 13-10. Reitler's got to change something immediately. He doesn't want to get to 14. He doesn't want Bergenthal to get to 14. And that's just what happened. Yes. One more touch and Bergenthal will win the gold oh. medal. Bergenthal came forward in a preparation there and, and got his blade picked up. Let's see if uh, Mr. Bergenthal does that direct long attack on this. No, he's going to go back, look for the counterattack, close out counterattack, it works. And Aaron Bergenthal from Columbus, Ohio is our champion.